Alrighty. So, you're probably wondering why I decided to introduce this video with potentially incorrect sign language. Well, it's because I recently hopped on Apple TV to watch the long-awaited Coda. I've been excited for this movie ever since I heard about it, and it's finally released and left quite the impact on me. So, I gotta talk about it. Coda is the story of Ruby, a young wannabe musician who lives in a deaf family. She is the only member of the household who can hear, leaving her full of responsibility. Ruby must decide whether she wants to pursue a career in singing or stay at home with her family. The story itself is fascinating, this is the main reason why I was so hyped for this movie to release. This is something that I don't really think has been done in this way before. We obviously have the Oscar winning Shape of Water and the recent hit Sound of Metal, but I don't think I've ever seen anything as informative and personal revolving around the deaf community. It's really special to have this family dynamic explored for the first time, really. You have this girl finding her spark, her dream, which can't really be appreciated by her family because of how heavily it revolves around sound. This obviously makes the film really emotional. You know going into this that you're probably going to tear up, but it actually catches you a bit by surprise. There are about five scenes probably that had me on the verge of tears, and three others that had me bawling my eyes out as well. This piece is jam-packed with emotion, and probably the main reason for that is the character relationships. Our main character Ruby is the heart of this movie, but it is the countless relationships that she has with other characters in this film that really provide the emotional spark. From a young age she has been responsible for her family's ability to communicate, whilst having the responsibility of keeping her family's fishing business afloat, and also juggling her own life and dreams. But it is those around her who allow her to relate and appeal to us viewers. Ruby is constantly having to be there for those around her, you can't help but feel sorry for her after the first 10 minutes of watching. Because up until this stage she hasn't been allowed to live a normal childhood. She wakes up at 3am to go fishing, then attends school and gets bullied there, and then rushes home for dinner. But when she starts to sing, the routine changes and more is added to her already overflowing plate. There is so much growth for her in this film, but it mostly comes from the bonds she has with other characters. She has distinct growth from her mother, her father, her singing teacher, her brother, her singing partner, her best friend, just to name a few. Each of these dynamics are so different and so important to Ruby as a character. You would think it would be tiring to have so many different character dynamics to keep track of, but it isn't. The only issue is the fact that some of these character relationships don't really seem to serve that much of a purpose. Not all of the connections we see are necessary, but none of them are boring at all. And while I'm on the topic of the characters, I need to talk about the acting because some of these performances are Oscar worthy. Marley Matlin is incredible as Ruby's mother and Troy Kotzer portrays one of the most emotionally driven characters in this film to perfection. But the star of this is Amelia Jones as Ruby. She is unbelievable, she owns this film. Her awkwardness is adorable and her growth is clear and easy to witness. I also love her voice, there is a lot of singing in this film and it helps that she sounds unreal. The sound design is perfect because there are multiple scenes featuring Ruby's choir, but the one distinct voice to be heard is Ruby's, which further drives home how talented she is. And while we're on the topic of sound design, I just gotta talk about it. I love to compare the sound design in Coda uh, to the recent Sound of Metal, which I talked about just before. The sound in Sound of Metal is simply the best, it's so expertly crafted, the more you watch that film, the more you fall in love with the way it sounds. But Coda is a different kind of special because you never really think of the sound design while viewing. You're so engaged in this production that it never really crosses your mind how it was manufactured. There are moments which are shown from the perspective of the deaf family, but even though it jumps from loud music to, well, silence, you never stop to think about why that is because you are so immersed in the experience. I think that's because of how raw this movie is. It feels so personal and true to life. I myself obviously know nothing about the situation that this family is in, but after having seen this movie I feel so educated and that's a true testament to the lifelike production. The dialogue between Ruby and her family is as real as it gets. There is no music, minimal sounds, just them conversing the only way they can. It is a very tricky task to have multiple lengthy soundless scenes and make them as engaging as they are. But Coda does just that and again I have to credit the acting in this film for that. To convey so much emotion and say so much without saying anything, it's simply incredible what this cast managed to do. Coda is the best movie this year so far. It is beautiful, it is emotional, it had me crying a lot. And I don't mean to say it was upsetting, I mean to say it was emotional. It had me crying because it was sad and because it was happy. 
while also having me laughing throughout the thing as well. Coda is the perfect blend of heartfelt drama and comedy. This eccentric family is so easy to fall in love with and support, it makes the almost two hour runtime a breeze. This film made me feel so much, it is a beautiful film which just needs to be seen. I loved just about every minute of it. Yeah, it got kind of corny at times, but whenever it verged on becoming cheesy, writer and director Sean Hader pulled something special out of her bag of tricks. Coda is a truly incredible film which gets my highest rating on this channel so far, a 9 out of 10. So that's that done, make sure you guys go check out this movie because it really is unbelievable, I cannot say that enough. If you liked the video give it a like, if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and don't stay up too late tonight.